If any ethnic group in Nigeria is synonymous with wealth, riches, millionaires and billionaires, it is the Igbos. They are known to be the most illustrious ethnic group in the country and over the years, they have produced the majority of self-made billionaires and generational wealth the world has ever seen. We all know that common saying, there is money and then there is Igbo money. See how money is so good it's been used as a football. When you're in the mix of all these successful business billionaires, money will definitely rain on you like papers and playfully used to stone the friends and celebrants of the occasion. This has breaded another inside joke that says, President Buhari has no business borrowing from China when one Igbo man alone can single-handedly loan him billions. Surprisingly, only a handful of Igbo rich men such as Oji Uzokalu, Pascal Dozier and Leo Stan AK gets the press attention, ignoring a much longer list of silent Igbo billionaires who command and control huge money-making empires. While some blame their lack of features on Forbes magazine and other top local and international listings to them being too busy making and spending money, it is widely believed that they shy away from media attention and the limelight deliberately. But all thanks to the recent burial ceremony in Oba, Anambra, that has got everyone talking, Nigerians were opportune to catch a glimpse of these unknown Igbo billionaires who landed in their private jets. According to Arise TV, over 50 private aircrafts landed and occupied two airports in Anambra state for Obikubana's mother's burial. More than 300 cows, over 50 private planes in two airports. These silent billionaires spend and spray money like it's paper. From their cars to their luxurious city and village mansions, investments, companies and lavish lifestyle, you wouldn't need a soothsayer to tell you that they are the real Igbo money bags. So, without wasting any more time, let's briefly introduce to you the top 5 silent Igbo billionaires you need to know right now. <laughs> Hello guys, it's Tikod here for African Gleeds. Escobar Smith Escobar Smith, whose real name is Kingsley Ekeoba, is a silent billionaire known for moving around with hefty security escorts and storming social events with wads of hard currency. The young billionaire, who is just in his 30s, is based in Abuja and Istanbul, Turkey. Escobar Smith hails from Umukabia, Okwala, Ohuhu, Umuhanya North Local Government Area of Abia State, and he made the bulk of his wealth from investment in the real estate industry. He is the chairman of Mukron's group of companies, the CEO of Mukon's development and properties and the owner of Gross Venus Suits and Apartment in Abuja. Nonetheless, the self-made billionaire continues to cash out from his thriving business empire and spend his money buying mansions and luxury cars. He owns two mansions in Nigeria, one in Abuja and the other in his village in Abia State. Among the cars in his garage are a Benz Formatic, Porsche and a 2020 Benz G-Wagon worth over 45 million naira. Escobar Smith also reportedly owns a private jet. <laughs> Joey Zaza 35-year-old billionaire Joseph Ezio Kafo, popularly known as Joey Zaza, comes from a long lineage of generational wealth. The master's degree holder from the Kelly College of Business hails from Equilobia in Anambra State. Joey Zaza is the CEO of Jesco Oil and Jesco Lubricants, an affluent oil and gas empire founded by his father, Joseph Eziokafo Sr. in the 70s. Interestingly, Joey is getting popular on Instagram and Snapchat as he continues to amass followers over pictures of expensive cars, houses and his extravagant lifestyle shared on social media. Although based in the UK, the yet-to-marry young billionaire owns a mansion at Chevron Drive in Lekki, Lagos and owns a fleet of fast cars, among which is the Brabus G-Wagon worth 43 million naira, a Mercedes-Benz Formatic worth 15 million naira and a Bentley Continental GT worth 78 million naira. In 2020, he gifted his father a Rolls Royce Cullinan worth 280 million naira and again gifted himself a Lamborghini Aventado worth 115 million naira on the occasion of his 34th birthday. When he is not gracing events and throwing bundles of naira notes to celebrant friends, Joey Zaza goes on luxury holidays worldwide and join the best of lives. <laughs> E-Money 
Emeka Okonko, aka E Money or Arab Money, is a self made billionaire from Uli in Anambra State. With over 7 million followers on Instagram, the young billionaire is quite the internet sensation as many cannot resist glimpses of his life of luxury. While much is not known about his success story, it's no secret that he is one of the few lucky to move from living in Ajegunle, a ghetto area in Lagos, to living in Leki. According to E-Money, his life changed after the traditional wedding to his wife, Juliet Okonkwo. He said he got a call that he had been awarded a contract of $2 million and the rest, they say, is history today. With a net worth running into $30 million, the young billionaire made his wealth from running a group of companies and controlling investments in the logistics, entertainment and oil and gas industry. He is the chairman of Emi Cargo's Nigeria Limited and the CEO of Five Star Oil oil and gas. The father of three is also the CEO of Five Star Music, a record label that boasts top artists and signees including KC, Skibi and Harry Song. So, how does E-Money spend his money? Apart from throwing lavish parties and swagaliciously stoning and making naira and dollars rain at top events once in a while, E-Money owns at least three mansions. His gold-furnished mansion in Omoli Estate in Lagos is said to be worth 250 million naira. He owns another mansion in Leki and a village house in Uli, Anambra, which has been described as a masterpiece. The young Bologna also owns a private jet and a fleet of fast cars, among which is a Mercedes-Benz Springer worth 35 million naira, an armored Lexus LX570 worth 20 million naira, and a 2020 Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon worth over 40 million naira. E Money is the junior brother of Kingsley Okonko, a popular Nigerian artist better known as KC. Even though E Money is the real money bag, KC is also a multi-millionaire and shares some of E Money's wealth. According to reports, Five Star Music Record label is co-owned between the brothers and they have many other shared investments and properties. This includes their palatial mansion in the village, Uli Anambra. The Limpopo Krina also boasts of a palatial edifice in Leki, Lagos and owns a garage full of luxury cars, among which is a Toyota Land Cruiser worth 30 million naira, a gold-plated Cadillac Escalade worth 29 million naira, a Range Rover Sport worth 29 million naira and a BMW 7 Series worth 28 million naira. Last year, the singer also received a red Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon worth a whooping 35 million naira from his brother, E-Money, for his birthday. So we are crossing here together with my brother, walking together. Yeah. America, of course. <laughs> you already know. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for the time. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. With us, with us, with us for good life, good health. Exactly. Everything yeah. nice. Motors. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> And this brings us to Obina Kubana, the Igbo businessman everyone has been talking about for weeks now after he broke the internet on the occasion of his beloved mother's burial. As we all know, the week-long burial ceremony saw his friends, business associates and hundreds of young men he transformed into millionaires gifted him a total of 346 cows, 72 rams and 20 goats. He also gifted himself a 40 million naira diamond encrusted chain with his late mother's face engraved on the pendant and sent his mother to eternal rest in a coffin worth 30 million naira. The carnival like burial ceremony also saw all kinds of currency reign. He hosted many guests with performances from top acts in the country, including David O, The Banj, KC, Pataranking, and others. And to cap it all, Obikubana empowered 300 youths with 1 million naira each to start up a business of their own 48 hours after his mother's burial and this wouldn't be the first time he's doing this. The story of his success started in 2013 after he pushed 53 uneducated Oba boys into the market to learn trading. But that will be on a different video. So be sure to check out African Glitz TV for a full detailed video on how Obi Kubana became a simple billionaire celebrated by many today. Also, subscribe to our channel for notifications. Back to the matter at hand. Obikubana calls himself God's preferred son. He hails from Afo Uzo Oba in the Idemili South local government area of Anambra State. 
Obi Iyegu is the pure definition of a secret billionaire. For years, most people believed one of his boys, Kubana chief priest, was the Kubana boss, not knowing that this 46-year-old father of four boys was the real MVP of the Kubana empire. Obi makes his wealth in the hospitality and entertainment field, focusing on real estate, hotels and nightlife industry. He started with the opening of his first nightclub, Opium Kubana, in Uweri, in 2006. Today, he is the CEO of a Kubana group with sub-enlistments such as Hustle and Bustle in Abuja, Ibiza Club in Abuja, Grand Kubana Hotels in Abuja, Gustavo Kubana in Enugu, Crave Kubana in Abuja, Pablo Kubana in Lagos, Rolex Hotels, The Grind by Kubana, Puzo Kubana, Caledonian Suits in Abuja, Casa Kubana, Signature Kubana, Montana Kubana, and the list goes on and on. Obi Kubana net worth is pegged at $96 million. The well-loved generous billionaire spends his money throwing lavish parties and supporting his friends. He also owns mansions in Lagos, Abuja, and Oweri. Apart from these houses, Obi owns a magnificent village mansion in Oba, Anambra State, which is reportedly worth $1.2 million. The silent billionaire also owns a fleet of top-of-the-range cars, including a Benz Formatic S40 worth 38 million naira, a Range Rover worth 26 million naira, and a Rolls-Royce reportedly worth 176 million naira. <laughs> Emeka Agbanari. Taking the number one spot on our list of top five silent Igbo billionaires is Chief Emeka Chukuma Agbanari. The billionaire first gained the attention of Nigerians in early 2021 after his magnificent village mansion in Anambra State made headlines. Word on the street now has it that he is the richest of all the silent Igbo billionaires with a net worth of $150 million. Emeka Agbanari is a self-made billionaire who made his wealth from investment in the construction and mining industry. He is the CEO of Seaman Group of Companies with sub-companies like Seaman Mining and Construction as well as Seaman Petroleum, a company that deals with the importation and distribution of petroleum products. Apart from his mansion in Lagos, he owns an English-styled mansion in his village in Unobi Idemili, South Local Government Area of Anambra State. Nicknamed the Eastern Disneyland, the mansion is reportedly worth a whooping $10 million. It sits on over six plots of land and features state-of-the-art facilities such as a fountain, tennis court, Olympic-sized swimming pool, and tastefully furnished and decorated interiors worth over $1 million. Unlike the aforementioned billionaire, Chief Emeka Agbanari owns cars, rather, he amasses top-of-the-range machines, including the 2020 Dodge Ram 1500 Lamari Longhorn Limited Edition worth 70 million naira, Rolls-Royce Wrath, and a 1960 vintage Rolls-Royce Phantom V worth 37 million naira. One amazing thing is that you might be walking past Emeka Agbanari on the street and wouldn't know because he dresses very simple and will appear more casual than even you. Take all the machineries away. Take all the money away. But leave the people for me. With the good people, I can build the greatest empire in the world. So, tell us guys, what do you think about these top 5 silent Igbo billionaires and the wealth and business empires they control? Do you agree with our list? Did we miss anyone worth being on this list? Do you agree that where other tribes' wealth stops is where the wealth of Igbo rich men start? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time you upload a new video so that you don't miss all the best ones. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.